Hey everybody, it's Coach Jen with Dazzler Cheer. I am making this little video so everybody has their questions answered for the upcoming state championship competition at Knott's Berry Farm. The event is going to be held this coming Sunday, May 6th, 2018 at Knott's Berry Farm. We are really excited about it and I've got lots and lots of ticket information and, and um, locations of meetup and all of this kind of stuff for you. So first off, we are going to be meeting up at 7 a.m. And this is going to be across the street from the Western Avenue entrance. Now the theme park is on a rectangular lot. <clears throat> the front of the lot is where they have the entrance to the park and where they have the, um, the chicken restaurant and the big wooden roller coaster. The side of the lot is where they have the, um, the hotel. And then the back of the lot is Western Avenue. And we're entering where the employee's entrance is. But right across the street from that, there is a little parking lot, and that's where all the sharp tents are going to be set up. So you can't miss it. When you're driving down Western Avenue, there's definitely a parking lot to be able to pull into, as well as you'll see the big white tents that Sharp International sets up for the competition to be able to <clears throat> sell the tickets and, and have everything ready for us. So we're going to meet over there in the parking lot area, which is across the street from the Western Avenue entrance. And all of the cheerleaders need to be there by 7 a.m. completely dressed and ready to perform. Now, of course, it might be a little chilly, so they can definitely have a jacket on. They can have warm-up pants or something on, but they have to have their uniform already on their body. And then the jacket and pants on over it, and so they can easily take it off. Make sure your child has a duffel bag or a backpack and make sure they have at least one bottle of water with them. Now we're not supposed to bring in food and snacks to this competition, so we will not be providing snack bags this season for the Knott's Berry Farm competition. If you would like to put some snacks in your child's bag for them to bring in, they're more than welcome to attempt that, but I'm not sure if they'll make them throw them away or not when we are entering the park. So don't pack anything crazy and nothing in containers that aren't disposable. Um, so we will be meeting at 7 a.m. across the street from Western Avenue Park, uh, Western Avenue entrance. They need to be fully dressed in their uniform with their hair completely done and ready to perform. Now we're meeting up with all of our team moms and dads. These are gonna be the same people that we met up with for the competition that we had just a couple weekends ago. So hopefully their faces are familiar as well as all of the coaches will be there to help guide you. Now the team moms and dads will have your child's wristband and their ticket to the park because I'm gonna have all of that prepped and ready and give it over to the team moms in the morning. So they will have that information, they will have those in their hand and they're gonna hold on to those until we're ready for the team to enter the park through the Western Avenue entrance. They will band the, your child, they'll put the wristband on them and they'll hang on to their tickets until we get over to the entrance. That way the tickets don't fly away or get lost or anything. So make sure your child's completely ready to go. Once we have all of our team members together accounted for and their wristbands on, then the team mom and dad will um, walk the children with a coach across the street to enter through the Western Avenue entrance. Now there is a lighted or a lit crosswalk there, so it is a safe place for the kids and the team moms to be able to cross the street and be able to enter the park. When we enter the park, we are gonna go over to the warm-up area, which is the boardwalk ballroom. So um, when we enter the park, we're gonna go in through that Western Avenue entrance through the back. We're gonna turn left over the railroad tracks. We're gonna pass the theater that they're gonna be performing in, and we're gonna go all the way over to the boardwalk ballroom for our warmups. Now each of the teams are going to do their warmups over there. They're gonna make sure that the routines are set and ready to go, and the team moms and the coaches will be with them during all of this. Parents are not allowed to come over to the boardwalk ballroom. This is a behind the scenes backstage idea. When we're done with our warmups, we will again as a team cross back over to the theater that the kids are performing in, which is the Charles M. Schultz Theater, and we'll enter backstage. They will perform on stage, and then they're going to exit to their left, which if you're watching the show, will be on your right hand side, and we will be dismissing right there as soon as they exit the stage. So again, the cheerleaders will go in the park from the Western Avenue entrance with the coaches and team moms. The parents will not be allowed to follow us at this time. We will go over to the boardwalk ballroom to do our warmups, and then we will walk back over to the theater to be able to enter the park, I'm sorry, to be able to enter the, the backstage um, to do their performance. Now when they're finished performing, you guys are gonna have to pick them up from the side of the stage, which is if you're watching the performance, it's gonna be on your right hand side. 
you'll see the girls coming or the cheerleaders coming out from the side of the stage to be able to pick them up then and there from their team mom. So do not um, like just hang out in the, the audience area for quite a while. We need you to immediately get your your kids from, um, from the team moms so the team moms can continue to enjoy their time at the park with their children as well. And so our coaches can move on and be able to get back with the other teams. So um, when you guys enter the park, actually let's back up a little bit. Once you drop your child off with the team moms, you guys need to get your tickets to be able to enter the park. Your tickets are going to be sold right there at the uh, sharp booths that are on the side of the, the street where you just dropped your child off with the team moms. Um, you'll get in line with the sharp booth and purchase your tickets. Now you're going to purchase a ticket to get into the park, which is $40 and then the ticket to watch the, the competition, which is $20. In total, you're spending $60 on the ticket for your entrance to the competition in the park. Since the competition is actually taking place inside the park, you do have to buy the ticket for the park as well as for the competition. So in total, it's $60 for adults. Um, there is a lower price, I have it here, for children and seniors. The price is only $45, and that's for ages three through 11, and then for seniors as well. So $45 is the discounted price for children ages three through 11, and for seniors, but everybody else is the $60. Now, if you already have a season pass to the park, then you only need to pay the $20 fee to be able to watch the competition. So you don't have to buy another ticket, just to be able to get into the Charles M. Schultz Theater to be able to watch the competition will cost you $20. And all of these tickets you're gonna buy over at those, the Sharp booths, the big white tents, on the opposite side of the street on Western Avenue, right across from the back entrance to the park. So everything's super convenient and organized over there, ready to go for you guys. Now if you get discounted tickets, let's say from work or from a union or something, and the ticket price is less than $40, then go ahead and get one of those tickets and then you'll only have to spend the $20 on the admission to actually watch the competition. But if your ticket price through your work or through your union is more than $40, then it's not worth it because this is a great deal to be able to get into the park and to watch the competition. Um, so I've got some notes here I wanna make sure I go over. Um, after you get your tickets to the park for all of your friends and family that are coming in, you guys will be allowed to enter the park and go into the theater. Now, when you enter the park, the rides, the concessions, and all this kind of stuff isn't open that early in the morning. They're only allowing us to enter the park early so we can go in and get our warm-ups done and get ready for the competition because the competition's starting at 8 a.m. But we're going to, um, or they're going to allow all of us to go inside early and get ready to watch it. So when you enter the park, you're gonna enter on Western Avenue as well. And you're going to come in, turn left and cross the railroad tracks. And right there, you'll see the theater. The theater will be on your right hand side as soon as you cross the railroad tracks. And there will be sharp employees there pointing you into the right direction. But you can't enter the theater on ground level. You have to actually walk up the ramp that's on your left hand side. You'll walk up the ramp and around the corner and enter the theater from the second level. And then when you exit the theater, you'll exit from the ground level. Hopefully it's pretty understanding when you get there, pretty easy. And again, there will be staff pointing you in the right direction. But you'll enter the theme park at Western Avenue. You'll buy your tickets at Western Avenue. And the Charles M. Schultz Theater that we're watching the performance at is right inside the park off of Western Avenue. So you'll go inside and you'll get seated and you'll be waiting for all of our teams to come and perform. Now when they're done performing, again, one team at a time, as soon as your child is finished performing, they're gonna exit on your right hand side inside the building and I'll need you to come and grab your child from inside the building to be able to um, get them away from the team and the team moms to allow everybody to go have some fun in the park. So when you're, um, once your child has performed, I would like you to take them over to a restroom and get them changed out of their uniform. We don't want them running around the park in their expensive uniform and getting it damaged or eating in their uniform. We have our sponsorship shirts. Our sponsorship shirts came out so cute this year. The front is amazing with the Dazzler Cheer State Championship Competition 2018. And then on the back side, we have all those amazing sponsors that have helped out to help us afford these tickets this year for the Knots competition. So all of the cheerleaders are required to wear one of these shirts to walk around the park after they're done performing. Make sure you bring the shirt with them or with you when you enter the park. It can be in their backpack duffel bag thing 
or you can bring it in when you come in the park. They also need a change of clothes for the bottom so they can wear shorts or pants or whatever they want. They also need a change of shoes. A lot of kids forget to bring a change of shoes, but they should not be running around in their cheer shoes at the park because we want to keep those in great shape. So bring um, either another pair of tennis shoes or maybe some sandals, whatever you guys would prefer. And then if you're getting one of the cute white bows, they can change into their white bow or you can leave them in their regular cheer bow or let their hair down, whatever's most convenient for you guys. Make sure you pack the uniform away appropriately so it stays safe because we will be competing again in October, so you wanna make sure to keep that in good shape. Again, all of the kids have to wear the Knott's Berry Farm State Championship t-shirt as soon as they're done performing. It cannot be cut up, it cannot be bedazzled, it can't be um, altered in any way. We are wearing them as a team, um, as a big gym, as well as showing off the sponsors. We wanna make sure everybody gets the credit that they deserve. So make sure you bring that change of clothes, you'll get them changed, and then you guys are free to play. Y'all paid for tickets to be able to get into Knott's, so go enjoy your time with your family while you're there at the park. Ride some rides and have a whole lot of fun. Now there will be special events happening at the competition, just like we had at this last competition, where they uh, judge the kids individually for the best stunts, the best toe touches, and the best tumbling passes. Now this will take place um, as soon as all of our teams are finished competing. They will invite the students to go backstage and purchase a ticket for a dollar to be able to participate in the special events time. This is not required, but it is a whole lot of fun and the kids can walk away with special awards. Now, if they wanna do the stunt down, they do need a group to be able to do the stunt down with. And how that works is they ask between three and five students together to be able to do safe stunts, can come up on stage, pay a dollar a piece, and perform three stunts consecutively, and they're gonna be competing against other kids in their age group. So the mini mascot age group is preschool kinder, the mascot age group is first, second, and third grade, the elementary age group is fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, junior high is seventh and eighth, and high school is ninth through twelfth. So make sure that they get into the right division when they're up there on stage. I'll be around as well, and sometimes the coaches get to hang out with us on stage too to help guide the kids. When the um, stunt down is done, they'll do a tumble down and a jump down where the kids go individually to show off their best jumps or their best tumbling pass to be able to be judged against other students in the same age group as them and get individual awards. When they're finished with all of this, we will be doing our big awards ceremony. Now, this time we want everybody back inside the auditorium. I mean everybody. All of the cheerleaders need to come back into the auditorium, into the big theater, wearing their Dazzler Cheer State Championship competition t-shirts and whatever bottoms they want. They don't change back into their uniform for awards. They'll all show up in that shirt and be able to support and cheer on all of our awards. Now, each coach has been asked to choose two team members from each team to represent Dazzler on stage. There's just simply not enough room for all of our students to come on stage with us to receive awards. So each coach has asked, or will be asking this week, two students to represent from each team to come up on stage. Now, if your child's chosen to come up on stage, they're gonna meet the coaches right where we dismissed them. So that's where the parents are facing the cheerleaders on the right-hand side, right where you just picked your child up after they finished performing. That's the exact area where the students will be meeting to be able to go on stage to receive awards. If your child was not chosen to go on stage for awards, make sure they're in the audience with you because we want them to be cheering on the teams. Now, when our awards are done, we would love to invite all of the kids to run up on stage with us and take some team pictures. So this is a really fun time. We get a great big backdrop with all of our trophies and all their smiling faces, and we'll take a really good team picture with everybody that's there for awards. So the kids are welcome to come up on stage as soon as the awards are finished and all of the awards and trophies have been handed out. Dazzler Cheer will remain on stage for just a moment so we can take those pictures. So send your child up at that time. All right, I'm gonna look over my notes and see if I missed anything real quick. Um, in our web, I'm sorry, on our website, dazzlercheer.com, under the parent information tab, I have our parent information packet from spring 2018. And um, on, in the packet on page seven, it talks about Knott's Berry Farm. So this information has been out there since the beginning of the season for you guys to be able to review and look at. Um, I'm gonna go through it real quick and see if there's anything I missed. 
It says that we're meeting on Sunday, May 6, 2018. Um, competition or competitor ticket info, you guys already got all that. So the money that you paid for your child to be able to compete, the $110 or $120, that included their, their ticket to the park, um, their competition entrance fee, it included the awards that they'll be receiving. The kids will all get a medal that day, um, a medal or a bag. It's one or the other that they'll be handing out. Um, and it includes that. It includes um, the t-shirt that you guys get to pick up this week. Um, so you don't have to worry about buying them a separate ticket. That's already all paid for and all taken care of. So the spectator ticket information, I did talk about that already. Just to recap that you need to purchase that the morning of the event on Western Avenue across the street at the Sharp International booths and it is $60 for all spectators ages 12 and up, $45 for all children and seniors ages three through 11. All children under three are free, and it's $20 to watch the competition if you already have a ticket or if you're a season pass holder. Um, the, let's see, okay, I read through all of that. Let me switch to my other screen that I have here, see if I missed anything on here. Uh, and the park's on square lot, please drive around the back. Oh, the address, of course, it's not Sperry Farm, but it's 8039 Beach Boulevard in Buena Park, California, 90620. And Beach Boulevard is the front of the park, Western Avenue is the back of the park, and Western Avenue is where we're meeting. All your friends and family that may be coming out to the competition or to join you later, please make sure they also go to Western Avenue to buy their tickets because the people at the front gate will not even know what you're talking about. The employees that are working the front gate, um, they don't even start working until 10 a.m. because the park doesn't open until 10 a.m. That's when concessions and rides and everything open, but like I said, we get in early. But they need to come to the back of the park because those employees at the front, they're not even gonna know that there's a competition going on. No need to train those guys to tell you guys to go around to the back we're supposed to tell you guys to go to the back. So make sure you tell all your friends and family, go to Western Avenue to be able to get those tickets and get in to be able to see the competition. So it says, do not go to the front gate. Do not buy your tickets at the front gate. Um, uh, let's see. I know everybody's anxious for our time schedule that is coming, but um, I don't have that ready yet. Let's see. Okay, so um, parking. If you are staying at the hotel, the parking's already included in your hotel stay. So you just leave your car parked in the hotel parking lot and walk around the corner to Western Avenue. That's what we do all the time. It's not that long of a walk at all. Super convenient, you don't have to pay for the parking over there. Now, if you are um, planning to drive up in the morning and you're gonna park your car on Western Avenue or inside that parking lot, then it is between 15 and $30 per car. So plan ahead for that. I know it's a lot of money, um, but plan ahead. If you guys are driving out in the morning, that's between $15 to $30 per car to be able to park in the Knott's Berry Farm parking lot off of Western Avenue. Now, there are sheriffs and police staying out there waiting for people to do illegal turns, illegal parking, um, jaywalking, all this kind of stuff. So don't do anything like that. Make sure you're following all of the rules that morning because they're expecting it and they're probably going to be out there to be able to ticket people. Um, remember, we're doing all this for fun. We want the kids to enjoy themselves and have a blast. We want you to have that family time running around the park and enjoying yourself. So our schedule, I will get that out to you guys as soon as possible. At this moment, I do know that we are checking in at 7 a.m. So we can enter the park and get our warm-ups done and the competition does start at 8 a.m. And all of our teams are performing in the morning and then awards will be sometime in the early afternoon. So the final schedule will not come out until Wednesday night. Um, the, but I want you guys to know what time we actually have to arrive. Um, now the, the hair for all of the students, that's up to each of the coaches. So make sure you're asking your, your daughter's coach or I'll send out a text message to everybody about what um, everybody's hair is supposed to be like for the competition.